Right now, smooth driving along I-70 here at Georgetown, but uh, oh boy, not the case just a few hours ago after a crash sent cattle scurrying out onto that busy interstate. Denver 7 reporter Lance Hernandez joins us now, and Lance, that crash turned into quite the roundup. It certainly did. There were quite a few cattle, uh, cattle that scattered alongside the highway. Now, I can tell you, they don't have all of them yet. Six of the 80 yearlings that were inside this uh, trailer here died. You can see the damage inside. Several of the survivors, though, scattered alongside the highway. Nobody coming down the hill was going to, you know, collide with them. Realtor Tammy Marasia saw the crash from the Whistle Stop Cafe. She watched the driver climb out of the cab, then saw the cattle come out. Six come out this way, six come out that way, and you were hoping that they weren't hurt also. The truck driver, Michael Tomlinson of Lamar, told investigators his brakes gave out. He wouldn't go on camera, but told me it was a hell of a ride. He said the driver in front of him stopped and said, thanks for not hitting me. Several bystanders helped round up the cattle and load them into a horse trailer a few at a time. One of the yearlings darted toward Mickey Rogers. Being raised on a ranch, you just start hollering and waving your arms and you try to deter him the other direction. So that's exactly what I did and he did turn back around. Veterinary doctor Ashley Oles says there were some deep abrasions on some of the surviving animals, but most should be okay. We've heard there might be one with a broken jaw and we haven't been able to locate it, so I'm not sure, I can't confirm that. Now, the truck driver was cited for reckless driving, reckless endangerment, no proof of insurance, and animal cruelty. Reporting live in Idaho Springs, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. All right, Lance.